Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. So yeah, a lot has happened, a lot of time has passed, and um, I haven't really uploaded much, but you know how life is, job, work, family, all that other good stuff. So I pretty much had a 535X hot behind me. Ran good and everything, but pretty much motor went, or started knocking because the fuel, what's it called, fuel injector, number six, it pretty much took a dump. It was leaking and took that whole rod out more than likely. So right now I'm in the process of going ahead and pulling out the whole motor and yeah, do some fun stuff to that motor to put it back in. And I'm gonna go ahead and reroute uh, all the lines, AC lines, keep AC on, like the good stuff from what it was before. So initially it's just pretty much a proof of concept car. Like, hey, can you actually put a single turbo on a 535 XI? The X drive system in the way with the AC line in the way, all that good stuff. So yeah, it's possible. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up. So ever since Hurricane Ian, my 335 just won't start. Uh, checked it out, put it on a scanner, and pretty much just giving me uh, codes for the DME, plus uh, the battery is also dead, and I got the starter code. So I got to briefly start and it started, ran pretty much decent, cleared all the codes and um, everything's been fine. But then when I went back to go start the next day, again, battery's dead down to like a few percentage. I forgot what it was, like six or something like that, some weird number. But anyway, charge it back up and it started again. Next day, dead again. So something's like pulling power, something's going on electrical system. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and sit there and work that one out also. So that car's not too. Then my 128i, my daily, my little slider, ride or die, that car has never left me on a road or anything like that. It's hard to find a car like that, especially driving a BMW at that, that. And um, yeah, it got flooded. So hydro locked and all that other stuff. So water was in the motor, I don't know how. Uh, back seats was flooded with water. Um, so all the way up to like, almost to the seat in a sense. So the water drained out and the mats are wet and all that other stuff. So the inside's wet, then you know it went some whole lot of places. So that car was pretty much written off. All right, and for the five series, I'm working on that and I'm pulling the motor. I'm doing a video, like step-by-step. Step. It's not really like a good old how-to, how to pull a motor on the 535 or nothing like that. Main reason why is because this is my first time pulling on 535 XI at that, with the front wheel drive system and all that stuff. So I'm just going through it, just documenting how I'm doing it. That way I can reference it back like, hey, what did I do wrong or something like that. Or even if somebody else is gonna go ahead and attempt this, they could just sit here and look at my journey and they could like, Put some pieces together i don't know look somewhere else also look at some manuals and see how to do it but yeah it's just pretty much a little guide for me on how to do it i might release it i might not um leave a comment below or something see if i should do it or not so just let me know and as i said earlier in the video a lot of times why i can't really get stuff done is because i'm like i'm so busy um i'm trying to like manage my time management a whole lot better uh so even on the five series it's taken me like forever just to even do much work on it because I'm pretty much doing like, I don't know, like 30 out, 30 minutes to an hour or so like every other month or so. So yeah, uh, and especially I'm working on it by myself. So it takes a whole lot longer and um, yeah. Hopefully I'm gonna try, I'm trying to dedicate a whole lot of time right now just to at least get the, the motor out so the work could be done on the motor and we could go ahead and start putting that thing together because I think FL2K is coming up and that's like a good inspiration right there to get some fast cars and get some N54 representation out of these events and stuff like that. So yeah. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. I have FL2K coming up in a couple of days. So I'm gonna be going to that event and yeah, I'm just gonna go out and chill. So you know me, I'm like low key and just be chilling. So I'm just gonna take a few shots here and there, but nothing too serious. Ain't gonna be like vlogging lifestyle or nothing like that. Just like, yo, got some shots, blah, blah, blah. Here we go.
All right, so see y'all in the next video, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe.